Hello, writers. Moving on to our sentence template of the week, template number 12. With a shout of amazement, Taryn ran forward and clasped the prince's hand by Lloyd Alexander from The Black Cauldron. Um, so let's take a look at this sentence with a shout of amazement. So we don't have any person and we don't have any action in this uh, first part of the sentence. We don't get to the main subject of the sentence until after the comma. What is the sentence mainly about? It's about how Taryn ran forward and how he clasped the prince's hand. So that, that's our main subject in two main verbs here. And we start out with this with phrase before the comma. Why do we put this with phrase there? Why did Lloyd Alexander do that? It was to emphasize a particular quality of his character. So Taryn was running forward, but what was the main thing that he wanted us to visualize and see and experience? It was the shout of amazement because that gives the feeling that he's trying to, to convey. Um, so why do you put it in front like this? Let's compare. With a shout of amazement, Taryn ran forward and clasped the prince's hand versus Taryn ran forward with a shout of amazement and clasped the prince's hand. So you have the exact same words, but just put in a different order. And you can see how in the second sentence, the emphasis, the main thing that we, we visualize and see is Taryn ran forward because that's what happens first. That's what we see first. But in this one, it emphasizes the shout of amazement because it comes first. And so by taking it out and putting it in front of the subject, it, it kind of makes it, makes it pop. So let's talk about how to imitate this kind of sentence. We have your with a, with something, and then the, whatever it's with, and then you have your comma. Don't forget this comma here that's very important. It comes before the main subject of the sentence. So you've got your main subject, Taryn ran forward, and he also did something else, and he clasped the prince's hand. So the second part of the sentence has one subject, excuse me, one subject, two main verbs. And um, that's what we're going to see. And then we have this quality. So you want to think about the quality that you want to emphasize of your character at the beginning. Let's look at example imitations. With all the joy in the world, the parents opened their arms and welcomed their lost daughter home. And so what are we emphasizing here? We're emphasizing the joy that the parents feel when their daughter comes home with all the joy in the world. With a sharp bladed knife, Yule cut and carved letters into the tree. And so here, what are we emphasizing? We're emphasizing the sharp bladed knife. So it doesn't have to be a sound. It doesn't have to be words or, or, or an emotion, but it can be an object that you're emphasizing here. And so this knife, uh, by being set out here, it becomes important. And we might feel like, oh, maybe that's going to come back later on in the story. And so that's your homework this week, write five sentence imitations of template 12 with snug babble gust slick and crumble. Go to it. Let's see some gorgeous sentences.